Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV, your IP resource for your next chip design in the world of the EDA industry. My guest today is John Ainsley, CTO of Dulos. Thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. John uh, is the author of the System C LRM, um, and you're a language expert, and you're also working with Stan Krolikowski in regards to the uh, latest update of the IEEE System C uh, standard. Can you tell, tell us a little bit about the significant changes in that standard? So the standard is being um, updated as part of, of, a, of a regular IEEE process. Um, so we're both including um, improvements and updates related to errata that have been reported back over the last few years. Um, We've also got a number of significant enhancements to that standard, language enhancements such as process control extensions. Mm -hmm. And then for the first time, the TLM, the OSCE Open System C TLM standard or standards are being incorporated in that document. So that's both TLM1 that's being formalized in that document mm -hmm. and TLM2 as well, which is being totally incorporated now into that IEEE standard. And what are the benefits, the technical benefits of that standard? So System C has proved itself to be a, a very robust standard. It just works out of the box. Mm -hmm. What we're doing now is making relatively minor changes, I guess, to the structure of the standard, so it's still recognizably the same language. Um, some specific benefits with regard to the use model of processes for verification. So verification guys will get some improvement there. And then having the TLM2 standard for the first time with, it, with its official ID IEEE moniker, officially rubber stamped by the IEEE, will give an extra impetus to that. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned a little bit er, uh, earlier about the UVM right. and how important that plays in right. to, to the System C. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So UVM um, is a System Verilog standard, so it might initially seem curious mm -hmm. that we're talking about UVM in the context of System C. Right. However, UVM has borrowed some key technology developed by OSCE, developed by the System C world. In particular, the TLM2 standard is now being incorporated into UVM. So one of UVM's big marketing features that's being, being pushed right now, and today in fact, is the incorporation of that TLM2 standard. So in fact, I'm talking about that later today at one of the, one of the tutorials here. Yeah. Well, that's uh, gr great, and it leads to my next question. What are you going to be presenting today? So, first off, I'm talking about the 1666 standard, okay. the, new, the new standard, and spilling the beans on that for the, for the NACE guide, for System C user group. Then talking about um, TLM2 in UVM, so flipping across to the UVM workshop and doing that. And this afternoon, at, uh, we've got a, a System C tutorial on software-driven verification. So again, I'm talking about mm -hmm. the TLM2 standard in that context. Now, where can we learn a little bit more, or our audience learn a little bit more and get a copy? Probably from OSCE. So, or about System C? So, if the audience is interested in System C, absolutely right. go to the OSCE website. There you go. Yeah. I think that was a leading question. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us, ladies and gentlemen. John Ainsley, CTO of Dulos. Thank you. Appreciate it.